this is Cliff Walker from VacuumBills.com. I'm pleased to introduce a series of videos to explain how the various details that we've carefully designed into our, our machines uh, simplify and improve the resin infusion process. I'll start with the resin trap lid uh, because this allows quick access to the uh, all-important container which is inside the resin trap. Removing the lid is simple. You just push down on the handles and rotate partially either direction and then you can easily remove the lid. Uh, Relatching the lid is equally simple, just drop it in place, push down and rotate the handles back to the lock position. There you are, firmly secured. I'll take the trap lid off once more and then we will look at the, at the container which is inside the resin trap. I'll just put this to one side. Take out the catch pot, push the machine to one side. We have three containers which will fit inside the trap body. Uh, they all fit very closely, fill the volume nicely. Uh, this one is our standard resin catching solution. It's a sturdy car cardboard catch pot, uh, heat resistant to 220 degrees Celsius or 430 degrees Fahrenheit. It will contain 12 litres or 3.1 US gallons of resin. It's an excellent catch pot for exothermic resins, um, but it is rather bulky to ship. fits nicely in the trap, but it's rather bulky to ship as a spare part. So our replacement catch pot solution is this collapsible bucket uh, with an outer heat-resistant nylon bag. So the heat resistance of this is exactly the same as this, um, but the big benefit of it is that it packs down far more compactly for shipping. The third option is a moulded polyethylene bucket. It's designed more for um, resin mixing and degassing. It doesn't have the temperature resistance of these two, so it's designed for the colder applications. So there are our three container options. They all fit the uh, resin trap nicely, but they have different functions, different purposes. While the trap is empty, we'll now look at a, another important detail. Unlike most resin trap uh, manufacturers, we put uh, our vacuum pump connection, vacuum gauge, vacuum regulator, we mount them on a solid block manifold mounted on the side of the resin trap body. This positioning's got a couple of important benefits. One, it obviously re removes clutter from the, from the trap lid, so you've got much more room for tubing connections from the bag. Uh, the other benefit of them being out here is, of course, that you can put the lid on and off without interfering with these, so it just keeps them out of harm's way. There's one further benefit um, which we need to look at by turning the trap around so you can see a little detail. And I'll put the torch on it as well. You'll see that the uh, manifold communicates with the inside of the trap uh, via this hollow bolt. And the, and the benefit of this hollow bolt you'll see when I put the catch pot in. So when I put the catch pot in place, the hollow bolt becomes invisible and it's hidden behind the catch pot. The benefit of this is that anything coming into the trap from above, so that's your resin and your air, whatever is coming down through the tubes from, from above, uh, cannot communicate directly with that hollow bolt. Everything that comes into here has to follow a circuitous path to get to that hollow bolt and then out to the manifold. That separates your resin from the air. Uh, the end result is that the trap stays much cleaner, the pump is better protected. Just a little detail, but it does work very well.